One day, watching a drone deliver a package to your door could be as normal as waving hello to the mailman. At least, that's what Amazon.com is promising. That's just one example of how companies are trying to make drones a part of our daily lives. Turns out the technology is actually being developed right here in South Texas, and News 4's Emily Bauckham found out how people are actually using drones and what is being done to protect your privacy. It's new tonight at 10. Turned out to be a nice day today, too. Most of us have never seen a drone in person. I just need to set it down and get started up. Well, this is it. And ready to go. And you're about to watch this drone fly. Launching in three, two, one. If you didn't know any better. Right there, right in front of us. You'd think it was a buzzard circling the sky. See how nice and smooth that is? We wanted to show you how drones work, how people use them and how maybe someday drones might be a part of your life. Yeah. Here we go. We found those answers deep in the heart of the Texas Hill Country in Wimberley, inside Gene Robinson's workshop. These aircraft are made out of ABS. It's very strong. It's just like the bumper on your car. He manufactures drones. The wings are, and they're covered with fiberglass. With his own two hands. A standard point and shoot camera. Robinson used to earn a living flying big airplanes. All this weighs about four pounds. Started as a hobby. These are just a few. You can see by the clippings there. and posters that on his wall. Faded. Some faded, others still fresh. We're giving them closure. The hobby grew into something Robinson never imagined. That we have been in contact with so many agencies is telling because it's a technology that many agencies want. You've got this scrubby grass. He's and, worked with know, Border Patrol, the Texas Rangers, and local law enforcement. There was something in there. Using his drone camera to capture high resolution pictures over fires, mountains, fields. Over the water. So what's he looking for? And there it is with a circle around it. Usually a missing person. If you look very closely, you can see that there are tennis shoes down here and a t-shirt. This is life-saving technology in the right hands. But as drones become more affordable, Texas lawmakers are navigating the very real privacy concerns. There are already laws in place. It's now illegal in Texas to use a drone to spy inside homes or on private property. And that law applies to everyone, even law enforcement. They can't take one of these airplanes and fly it over your field to see if there is anything else growing there, unless a judge signs a warrant. But Robinson sees all kinds of ways the average person can use drones in good ways, like city planning or checking the roof of your home for hail damage. A little at a time we're getting there. The technology is coming. It's being trotted out and, and shown a little at a time so that people can understand it and become comfortable with it. Now this may surprise you, but the major holdup with drones hitting the mass market actually isn't because of privacy. The FAA is figuring out how to regulate all that air traffic so the drones don't fly into buildings or worse, another airplane. Wow, and speaking of that, I know he said they're very durable, but mm -hmm. how do they keep them from flying into things, you know, through neighborhoods like Amazon's drones? Trying to send packages yeah. through different neighborhoods. We asked him about that. He mm -hmm. says there is technology out there that if a drone is in danger of hitting something, a pilot back in the control room can adjust the flight path pretty quickly. And Amazon says it could have this system in place by next year wow. if the laws from the FAA come to place by then. Pretty incredible.